what's going on everybody it's your boy darkness falls back here with another video so yeah man we're back here talking about some more eight the gazer so as you guys see the title man global players your girl has dropped you guys already know i did do a video on her already um you know we did get a crazy good reception the video got about uh 3, views i'm not sure if that was about a month or two ago but everybody already had their eyes set on summer for Hera because, of course, this girl is crazy broken. So good luck on your summons. But I wanted to make this video because I, want, I know she already came out not too long ago on Global. And I just want to inform people who have not been playing the game. Sometimes you can get you know, tired. Sometimes you can get burnout. And, you know, just playing, you know, different games like me. If you play as many as I play, I play over 10 different gotchas along with other you know console games you can you know just blank out and sometimes not get it so i just wanted to read this that they put here on the eighth gazer english twitter account you wouldn't want to keep hero waiting would you so make sure you go ahead log in the game go ahead and see if you can pull your girl hopefully you're not like the people who did not listen and you summon for dark star hella and all these other people and you don't have the currency um you know it's gonna hurt you so hopefully you saved up like you were supposed to and you are getting lucky. I did watch some other uh, YouTubers who main global and they got some great pools, man. Um, shout out to uh, Further and uh, Chaotic. They got they got them. So I do watch those two YouTubers for a variety of different games. And, um, you know, they play global. So that's good. Now, let's go ahead and look at the character again. I'm just going to go over, you know, just a little preview here of the skills. But just to redo it, also my girl Jen A is on raid up. You guys got you guys know I love my girl Kotachi. Here's the um the actual banner. You do also get Hermes. Now I know some people were stressing too much about Hermes, but I do just want to tell people just make sure you do the event. You can get the four star character for free. So for some reason you don't like Hera, but you want Hermes, you still don't have to summon. You can get a free copy of Hermes from the event. But it doesn't help and it doesn't hurt if you want to get dupes for Hermes. It is what it is. But this is the five star I told you guys do. You do not want to miss. So if you fumble and summoned on Leviathan and uh, Scotty, I cannot help you. But let's go ahead and look at it. Where is it here? So here's the skills translated for you guys. Like I said, I know I went over this before. I'm just doing this for people. Maybe if you haven't summoned yet or you're still on the fence about summoning, um, you know, CM bro is here. So skill one, falling stars, summons meteors above the locked on enemy with each meteor is dealing enemies damage within light, light damage range. So you now dealing damage to enemies within range, light damage. So this is just pure damage. That's not boosting anything for the team. Skill two. Um, Don Wish launches an attack on the surrounding enemies, dealing light damage and increases the attack of the team member with the highest attack for a few seconds. So this one you already know is, you know, increasing the attack of the team member with the highest attack for a few seconds. That's skill two. So skill three, as you see, uh, Great Bear's Fury summons the Big Dipper above the target and the attack and attack all enemies within range, dealing light damage. So, you know, she's going to be dealing some damage there. Then, of course, for skill three. And then we have the uh, ultimate skill echo chamber increases the damage dealt by all teammates for a few seconds and restores all combat resources extended by them in the next move within 10 seconds. This is where a lot of people are, um, you know, summoning this character for, which is the ultimate skill. Grants an um, ultimate skill charge when mod or a teammate triggers zero time. So. Of course, like I said, mileage will vary with the dupes, um, with the key as well. I know some people are pulling for it uh, right here. So here is the uh, the key. So it says equipping by Phantasm Dawn, which is Hera herself. Grants Hera grants the following effects, replaces the dodge skills. Uh, Phantasm all light dance with further fantastic 100% chance of triggering dodge effect with dodge. Hold down on the dodge button to trigger additional dodge effect. Increases the non DLT damage of the mod or teammate in zero time when they are affected by Don Wish. Now I know some people were making you know different videos or saying maybe should or should you not go for the key. Now I would be one of those people to tell you, depending on the unit, 
a lot of times the key is not uh you know to go for like it's just like you know certain games even with snow break here on uh Honkai star rail you guys know also against you sometimes um the four star variant of keys you can just use those and get away with it you don't have to summon for like cones or weapons or anything like that so i would tell you for her you don't need it now if you're welly like a lot of other people they went for keys a lot of my characters don't have them and i get by just fine the content even on the hardest content that is currently available on cn so it is what it is um if you're feeling you know lucky you can get some keys me i just um you know would tell you just spin accordingly because you know i'm pretty sure after um hera is done the next big character who's going to be coming is going to be hades so make sure you guys get ready for her next because if you did not save and maybe you had enough to summon for Hera, you're going to be missing out on the other units. So that's why I told you guys, you know, summoning back to back or even summon or saving when it's time to save, you'll be able to take these hits without having to swipe. So like me, if you saved and then did this and then did not summon, you'd be able to probably get her within a good amount of pools, still have currency left over for the next banner unit. See here, if you didn't save and you spent on those other characters, like I mentioned, you maybe had to swipe. If you don't mind swiping, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, it's good for the game to make money. So can't complain on that. Just don't complain in the comments because that's what we see. A lot of people may get shafted, may not get what you get. And I'll say, hey, man, should have saved. Told you not to summon all the characters. You cannot summon on every band of free to play. It's just not, um, you know, viable. It's just not going to work. So sometimes you got to save for months. And I've done that on multiple games. And trust me, I've been getting a lot of success. So just want to give you guys just one of those reminders, man. Like I said, don't be me. Another thing I wanted to mention, and this is pertaining to me, I don't have her on my CN account. And I don't have, you know, the brokenness on my character. And I do miss this character not having her. And when she do rerun on CN, I'm just going to pick a copy. That's it. I don't really go for double S, triple S. That's just not me, but I'm going to get a copy, but I was just playing other games. Um, you know, PGR, other games like that. A lot of them have different anniversaries that popped out. I don't remember around the time, but I end up not getting the character. Now I wasn't too much set on the character, whether she was meta or not. Cause again, when you're playing day one CN, you don't know what is meta or what's not because you're testing it out first. We didn't find that out until, you know what I mean? A couple months later. Oh man, she's very, very fantastic. And then, you know, went up saying, hey, we missed her. So it is what it is, man. But like I said, I don't want you guys to miss this great character that did uh, come out. And um, she is very, very viable to a lot of teams. And um, that way, you know, you guys would be able to play different teams without having to worry about your damage output not being as great. Let me just go to the artwork here. But the thing is. If you want to run a water team, if you run to run a fire team, you run to run a dark team, whatever team it is, you can just throw her in there as that third slot and she'll be able to boost the team regardless. The first two units you want to use, who cares? But do get this unit. So just want to get all this reminder. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know done. So I am going to be uploading the 2.3 PV on the CN side. Cause we do got some more new content coming with Gwen Chin. We finally getting the summer outfit for her and uh, Scotty's also getting an outfit. So make sure you guys check out the next video. Once it comes out after this, thank you guys so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.